Hey guys, welcome back to Brews with Brenna, the show where we review craft beer and style of hair. Is super cute. Keep watching to see what beer we're reviewing this week and also to see how I got this cute look. This week's episode, we are reviewing a beer from One Great City Brewing here in Winnipeg. Looks pretty sick. <laughs> you know what? It is a sour shock. You know what got me? Was the fact that this beer said, tweak my nips. Today's hairstyle I'm gonna do is inspired by myself, I guess. You know, like all my styles, they're easy as f otherwise f them. Except for that Doja Cat one, that one was out of control hard. Watch that video, come on. Okay, let's have a rip of the spear, boys, and then, um, you know. <laughs> Smells hoppy. So yeah, IPA I think means hoppy. Actually, let's look at the IBU. IBU is International Bitterness Unit, and it's rated on a scale of zero to 100. This one's five, which means it's low, but man, it definitely my first thought was, ooh, a little hoppy, but we'll see. What the f <laughs> <laughs> What the f is that five IBU, but tastes like 30 IBU or something, you know? So just be prepared for that. Okay, first step, brush your hair. I'm just gonna trace along my part all the way straight down to the back. Now we did that sectioning. Now let's do the sectioning for our front pieces. I want mine to be a little full, but not out of control. So I think, what is that, like an inch or so? We'll do that. Now I'm gonna point, okay, right here is where I section up the other side. So you're gonna be like, okay, let's section up the right side right there too. And check in the mirror, make sure they're even, these front sections. Oh sh I they're not even. That was hard work, let's have a beer. <laughs> I, I just love the packaging on this one. Like I can't think of any other beers from one great city that I'm like, oh yeah, but this one, yeah. I guess they're a brewery, they have a restaurant with it, you go pick up beer. I've been to the restaurant a few times and their food is freaking phenomenal. So you're gonna take your section, you're gonna put two fingers in it. And usually when you put the two fingers in, that's how you get pretty even pieces for braiding, which oh sh those are actually very even. And now we're just gonna braid. Don't pull the braid forward like this. You wanna kind of pull it off to the side so it's not totally sitting in your face. And then just braid your hair. Remember, hold the braid close to your face because that's where you want it to sit. And then use a little elastic. Now let's do the same to the other side, guys. Okay, make sure we're gonna put the ponytail. Oh, perfect. This way you gotta look in the mirror because right here is a little jacked. So I'm actually gonna redo that. So. So now that we have these braids popping off, let's move on to the second part. I'm using a small clear elastic. These elastics are so low profile, I don't even need to wrap a piece of hair around it. So you can skip this next step I'm gonna do. If you wanna conceal those elastics, then just follow me. And always when you are doing this little wrap trick, grab a piece from behind. Don't grab it from the front, cause then you'll, you'll see it. I love when flavors are that complex, that delicious, and that sour, it's so good. Okay, so last step is just curling this mother Uh-huh, honey. That's why I never get invited anywhere. Oh my gosh, I just saw this little saying on the side of the can. I believe it's so much to be true. So I was reading online about one great city and apparently it's a couple of friends and you know, they explained how they went traveling in their 20s and then they came to realize they're from like around Winnipeg area and they come to realize how sick Winnipeg is. So they came back, started a business after having, you know, all that travel experience to learn about food and beer. I love how they are marrying that with this cute little saying on the side of the can, which is the coldest places breed the warmest people. That is seriously so darling. And you know what? It's freaking true. I feel like if genuinely you're, if you're always trying to be kind to everyone, even if they've done you wrong, then you're only gonna breed positivity and not hate, and your life is gonna be so much better. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm like the coloring of that can is so fire, bro. The name is cheeky, the can colors are freaking gorge, very summery. Okay, let's get this other side done. I'm just not gonna talk this so we get done quick. Okay, so I curled it, and I'm gonna throw a little shine spray in there. 
You guys know I'm becoming obsessed with shine spray. Let me. You know what? I'm surprised by how Western this style looks, which is totally my vibe. If you can't tell, I love Western. Shit. I'm about, you know, beer and friggin' go bear styles. What do you want? So I thought barrettes would be super cute to accessorize with. If you want to, you could also leave it as is. This look right now with the barrettes actually reminds me of Doja Cat's Need to Know video. Kind of alien like. I'm gonna leave it like this because I feel like the barrette adds some interest. Whoa! So my final review on this beer from One Great Sitter, Sittery, Sittery. I buy it again, yeah, I buy it again, motherfucker. I was gonna review a different beer today, but then after seeing the packaging, the cheeky name, and the flavor profile in this beer, I just had to. I really try not to review only craft beer, but damn, I feel like this one's so perfect. Tweak my nips, like how clever is that? With a freaking little hop on there. Those of you who are kind of unsure about hops, try this one, it's really good. Of course, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this hairstyle, what beer you want me to try next. I'll see you guys next week, bye. <laughs>